speaking of um, Synologies, Adam, you got that DS423 Plus going yet? I, yeah, I do. I do. I went finally went forward with it and um, decided to pull the trigger and just do the normal you know, process of, you know, popping the drives and shutting everything down, popping the drives out of my existing one, keeping track of the order, popping them in the new one and just firing it up and letting it do its thing. And despite, you know, some concerns that we had discussed on the show about the available storage for the operating system, um, it just worked. Great. So (laughs) like little to no issues, like totally smooth process. I, I, actually, no issues. I shouldn't even say little to no issues. No issues. Um, other than, okay, I, I take it back. There was one weird thing where I had trouble with my login for some reason. Okay. So it was like my user account information didn't transfer over. Uh-huh. And I don't remember if I ended up doing, I think I ended up having to do like a password reset through it. So I don't know why it got borked or how it got borked or even if it was truly borked. It was it was really odd. So when you know I went back to the to log into it, I was having trouble logging in. And that concerned me for a second. But I got through that and now it's just been running great. I know I'll say I don't run a lot of stuff on it. It's basically Plex and okay. iTunes backups. That I mean, those are the only two things I'm really using it for currently. Sure. Now, I probably will expand on that now that I have this model because the other one was so old, I didn't really want to like push it too much. But now I'll probably look into some other use cases or things to do with it. But yeah, I mean, in terms of transition, it was it was great. And it's it, it, I mean, the 423 plus that one of the reasons as we sort of went through it here on the show a couple of months ago and and narrowed down on that one for you was. It's got a decent processor in it that also has a GPU, which will do the transcoding for Plex, and it's working exactly. fine for that. Yeah, yeah, it's working awesome for that. Uh, I'll say the other thing that I did do before I did the transition is I did take one of the four terabyte drives that they had sent and popped it in my little USB C toaster thing, and I okay. backed up my entire Plex library and my. Uh, iTunes backups from it over the network. So I plugged that into my Mac and I grabbed all that data and backed that up just in case everything sure. went south. Cause the main thing I cared about was all of the Plex data. Cause I had spent a long time, obviously ripping my entire DVD collection into Plex a long time sure. ago. And it's like, I don't want to do that again. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Cool. 